Our CA Hoops Summer School Series continues today, presented by Hercules Tire with the head coach of the Towson Tigers, Pat Scary. Coach, first of all, thank you for taking time joining us today. How are you, your family, and, and people kind of in your inner circle been doing during this uh, pandemic? Yeah, it's great to be here. Uh, yeah, um, you know, we, we've thankfully been healthy. Um, I was just, that's the most important thing here. Um, been, been home a lot. We're kind of getting – this is like round two back in the office. We were going to come back uh, about a month ago, and then we, we tapped the brakes. Um, and now, now we're, we're getting back in. Actually, tomorrow's supposed to be our first workout on the court. So uh, we're, we're excited for that. But, I, you know, um, it, it's weird for a coach because you're so used to traveling the entire month of July for so many years. And, um, you know, I, I miss the watching games, high-level games, but I certainly – uh, enjoyed being home with with my my family and um, you know just having that chance to you, you know you, you feel like sometimes you missed a lot of that so doing that has been that that that's been enjoyable not not gonna lie about that. Well, coach, speaking of that, uh, obviously everyone kind of had to hit the pause button there, and this off season I'm sure has been a lot different for all coaches across the country, usually on the go, like you said, recruiting. But uh, on the bright side, like you said, you got to spend some time with family. Was there anything else, uh, you know, that that headlined your off season positively? Like, did you get to catch up on a Netflix series or a new book, or was it just like just extended family time? I do do some reading in the um, in, in the off season, usually on like some leadership books. But I've uh, you know I got a Peloton. I, I've we've been I think it's 160 days home now. And I've I've used it 155. I'm I've been proud of that. I started lifting weights again, so that that piece has been good. Uh, my oldest son has w- worked really hard at his games. We we've I've been able to do a little bit of, a little bit of coaching with uh, with him. It's been really fun watching him uh, develop. You know, ton of NBA more. Than, I've, much more NBA than a lot, probably the last five years. That's been good. Uh, anything else? I got in early. I because a lot of our players would talk about them. I watched all the Marvel movies, and um, they were good. And but I always t- the the sad thing is, Bobby. I told myself, but look, by the time you finish with these, we'll be we'll be ready to go and back to work. And then we finished them, and we weren't. So I am open for any suggestions on on Netflix at any point in time. <laughs> Well, yes, it's definitely been a, a pop. Marvel movies are great, absolutely. But, yeah, Netflix has definitely been popular as well. So there's there's definitely several shows on there to check out. Hopefully you, you won't have time for them here in the near future. But uh, And speaking of having time, uh, uh, Coach, what have been some of the biggest obstacles, re- you know, coaching during this pandemic? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just not having the daily interaction with your – hands-on interaction with your players, you know, getting them better. That's what we do. We do in the summer. Um, you know, we went pretty heavy with uh, team zoom meeting a week and then individual break group uh, zoom stuff. And then after we tapped the breaks and I think, I, you know, I felt like, you know, we're going to give our guys a little bit of a, a little bit of a reprieve here. I, I, you know, I know our staff has tried to work hard, like a lot of staffs with podcasts, videos. Um, I've, you know, we've had a lot of talks and discussions about, how we're going to play, what we got to get better at. Uh, one thing that we, I've tried to be is more flexible. Like normally this time of year I'd have you, this is our 30 days. This is we're putting this in, that, that in. And um, I haven't done that because I, I, I feel like we've got to be, we've got to remain, a, we, we got to be pliable here. You know what I mean? And, and be, be ready to pivot. Um, but yeah, uh, th- those are, like I said, it's, uh, I, I think I speak of every coach in the country in any sport. The I think we've worked hard, but you've you know coaches need to be on the court with players to coach them. Strength coaches need to be in the weight room with guys to get them better. Trainers need to rehab. It's hard to do some of our jobs virtually all the time. Absolutely, it's definitely been I'm sure a difficult off season for our coaches all across the country. And and let's talk a little basketball. It's going to be a new look for the Towson Tigers this season after graduation of a two time All CA honoree Brian Fobbs. Uh, while you can't replace someone like him one for one, how does his departure or change your team this year as you start to get ready for the season? Yeah, Brian was a terrific player. I think one thing that he was undervalued was that he he really played both ends of the floor. Um, yeah, I think we had a chance to, you know, you know, uh, 
we, we've talked a lot about the staff. Obviously, we, we've got to figure out how to kick the door in. We've had the most top three finishes in the conference over the last eight years. Uh, that's something we have we take pride in, but we've we've got to finish the job. I think this group has a chance to be really good, um, mostly because of the type of humans they are. Uh, they're wired the right way, great disposition, good chemistry. Um, I, I think it's, uh, you know, it would be a couple things. One, got to get back and get everyone on the court and be healthy. You know, um, we've got a couple good players coming off of injuries. And then, you know, what was different for us last year, Bobby, is, uh, we had three freshmen play a ton, a ton of minutes. And normally that doesn't happen on, on a good team. And all really good players, great, great kids. Can they take the type of jump that we've had some other guys do from year one to year two now that they've got some seasoning and experience under their belt? If they can do that, then we get a chance to be really good. And then getting Juwan Gray back healthy, uh, he's, he's been cleared after breaking a bonus hand. going to be big for us because I – you know, feel like he's, he's got a chance to – a good year for us. Um, I, we've kidded Nick Timberlake that Juwan probably would have been the sixth man if he didn't get hurt. But we felt, I felt like we had – we were a little bit different. We had two guys coming off the bench that were really starters. And I expect those guys to take take big jumps for us. And that leads me to my next question, Coach. Uh, like you said, Nick Timberlake earned the sixth man of the year honors last year. As he moves into his redshirt sophomore season, what kind of jump in performance do you expect from him? Uh, a big one. One, you know, more minutes, more shots. We got to get him more shots, and you know, he's he's he'll score the ball for us. Um, you know, at, at a higher rate. You know, if if you're not here every day, last year, like coming into the start of the season, he had earned a starting job, um, and then three days before our first game, he crack, gets a crack in his kneecap, and so he's out for like four weeks, and. It just puts him. It just puts him behind. I think his first game activity was against Xavier. You know, so well, welcome to, welcome to college basketball. Um, but the type of guy he is, he played his best basketball late in the year, which doesn't always happen for freshmen. Um, he became very good for us defensively. He was the best rebounding guard per minute in the conference. So we need to, like I said, move him around a little bit more. But he's a, uh, he's a, he's about winning in the team, and he's a competitive tough-minded guy, so I, I, I have all the confidence in the world in him. Wrapping up today with the head coach of the Towson Tigers, Pat Scary, and, and coach, obviously, the uh, other off-season headline is the social injustice movement and Black Lives Matter. What type of conversations around your team concerning the social injustice movement and Black Lives Matter been like? Yeah, I, I think not just our team, but our, our, our department. You know, like, we're like any team. We had you know, the initial uh, conversation and um, I'm on the NABC uh, racial recognition committee and, uh, you know, Parfait Bate and Brandon McDonald on my staff have done some really good things with lining some stuff up for both our team and, and some discussions with our, our department. You know, we have, uh, you've met Antoine Smith, our uh, associate AD here. He, he's done a really good job on some WebEx meetings, um, talking to our team. So it's 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 evolving. I mean, how how can we be better? Um, it's 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 disturbing when you really study history and, and what's going on out there. And, and and then obviously, yeah, internally, you know, we did this four years ago, but it's really taken off now. Is make sure they vote and they register to vote. So I've been excited. Like so, we tried to do that four years ago, and I'm glad our guys did it. It didn't really catch on, but I'm I'm pretty excited that it's caught on now on a, a, a national national level. But I, I you know, I, I have all the confidence in our athletic department that some of the programming and training that we've got planned during this academic year will, 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 will benefit our student athletes and really our university. Well, Coach, thank you so much for sharing, sharing that with us in regards to what the Tigers and your program are doing. And thank you for sharing your summer with us a little bit. And you stay healthy along with your team and your family, and hopefully we see the Tigers on the court fairly soon. I'm with you on that, man. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.